A mysterious shop in China, which challenged customers to limit their mobile phone use to three minutes a day for five weeks to win a prize of 400,000 yuan, 55,000 US dollars, has sparked an official investigation. The outlet in Chengdu, the capital of the southwestern province of Sichuan, known as the self discipline challenge room, advertised the offer on a poster. Those accepting the challenge were promised a 400. 000 yuan cash price if they used their digital devices for no more than 3 minutes a day for 35 days and 300,000 yuan for 30 days, according to the mainland media outlet, Xiongyu News. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs. Analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. Challenges would be provided with free hotel rooms in the city, three meals a day and could bring items to pass the time they would normally spend on their phones, provided they stayed in their rooms. They could also bring their phones, but their usage would be closely monitored. However, there was a catch Entrance had to pay a 7,000 yuan, 960 US dollars. Non-refundable entry fee. An unidentified shop employee told Xiongyu News that participants had to sign a legally binding contract. A person in the neighborhood told local media outlet Kendo News that the shop had been open for a month. Adding that he had seen people inquiring about the challenge, but was unaware if anyone had signed up. The game has caused a stir on mainland social media. While many said they were tempted to try it, skeptical online observers suspected it was a scam. This challenge is a piece of cake for me. I can't play with my phone at work either, and I only earn thousands of yuan a month, said one person. You pay the entry fee and participate in the challenge, and you will discover them all having disappeared on the 34th day, joke another. It's a trap, a third online commenter said. Even though the challenge is real, I don't think I can succeed. Imagine having almost no contact with the outside world for a month, said another. An employee of the local market supervision administration told Xiongyu News they were investigating the shop. By August 26, Kendo News reported that the sign above the shop had been taken down. Self-discipline has become an increasingly popular commercial product in China in recent years. On the mainland's e-commerce platforms, people pay to have others supervise them while studying via video call apps. Most of these services are priced at just a few dozen yuan, a few US dollars for 10 hours of one-on-one -on -one care from an assigned chaperone. They have been in demand among students who face enormous pressure to excel academically.